My name is uh, Sachin Kotekal. Uh, I work as an application architect uh, at Electronic Arts. Today we'll look at uh, some of the uh, opportunities uh, within our organization where we have leveraged generative AI uh, along with Bedrock and Titan. Before we dive deep, uh, let me introduce who we are and uh, what we do. Uh, I am part of a player experience team for Electronic Arts. Uh, we majorly build platforms and tools that help uh, business uh, generate and distribute uh, world-class content for our players, um, facilitate hosting of uh, live events such as EA Play, and uh, support our players when they get into an issue or an error while playing the games. As you can imagine, uh, we deal with uh, millions of players worldwide. Uh, so our workloads are complex, unpredictable, and also needs to be scaled uh, when required. So with the help of uh, Bedrock and foundational models, we hope we could build uh, the generative AI applications that, can, that are easy to develop, uh, cost-effective mainly, and also scalable uh, when needed. So today I have uh, four different opportunities within our area that I would like to talk about. Um, first two of them are to do with productivity enhancement of our teams. The third one is for enhancing our uh, players' experience. And the fourth one is, most importantly, our uh, business teams getting the feedback and the uh, knowledge from the social media posts. Before going through the first uh, opportunity, I would like to do a quick uh, uh, audience poll, if it's OK uh, with you all. Uh, quick show of hands, uh, who here, uh, here develop code in their day-to-day, -day, like write code into, in their day-to-day -day, uh, uh, work? Nice. And uh, next question is, again, show of hands. Uh, have you ever felt that you have to be compromised uh, while writing the unit tests because of time crunch or because of business priorities? Awesome. I see some hands. That's good. I see a lot of hands. That's nice. Um, we all know that uh, unit testing is very critical, a uh, part of uh, development life cycle. Uh, we all know that uh, unit tests uh, help us make sure the product doesn't have any error when, uh, when it gets into the next phases of software development life cycle. Uh, but sometimes, because of the business priorities or business of the time crunch, uh, we may have to relegate them as a second class citizens. What we have uh, did is we gave a tool for our developers so they can just, by click of it, generate automated unit tests, uh, at least the boilerplate ones, so that they could uh, basically uh, write the uh, edge case scenarios and more complex tests. Uh, thereby, we can help them uh, improve the efficiency in their development process and also shift the responsibility left towards the developers to make sure that uh, the product released to QA is properly tested with multiple complex scenarios and make sure it's good uh, for a QA to uh, run more regression tests. Before going into a demo, uh, I have a quick high-level architecture. Uh, what you see on your uh, left side is uh, developers interacting with uh, uh, in-house built plugin or tool. Uh, that is powered by a service behind the scenes that's in turn powered by Amazon Bedrock uh, with Titan foundational model. Uh, when the developer uh, triggers the plugin, uh, the code and the metadata is sent to the Titan which, uh, with the appropriate prompts, which would generate the test, uh, test cases, unit tests, and then return back to the uh, code editor. I am not as brave as or courageous as Ben, so I have a recorded demo, so I would just play that. <laughs> so what you see is a code editor here, uh, and it's a simple Java function which, uh, which just converts the uh, emojis to uh, emotions to emojis. Uh, a developer has just triggered the plugin, and a matter of few seconds, we will see the tests that gets generated and displayed. So I have like uh, 10 tests that the uh, Titan behind the scenes generated automatically. So now the developer can review, add more tests if needed, change something. Uh, they have at least a boilerplate test to start with. This, uh, the second uh, opportunity that I would like to talk, again, is to do with uh, uh, productivity enhancement. So this is mainly for our quality engineers. Uh, why should developers have all the fun, right? 
Our quality engineers spend a lot of time making sure the product doesn't have any errors. So this is for them uh, to help in their day-to-day -day job. Uh, today, what happens when our quality engineers get a requirement from our business is they spend a lot of time analyzing uh, the requirement, uh, write the test scenarios, even before thinking about regression tests or unit tests. Um, for a complex requirement, this would obviously take a lot of time. And also, it sometimes is, uh, uh, is kind of not that efficient, I should say, because the most of the time is spent in analyzing and writing the basic uh, test scenarios, even before thinking of the complex ones, edge cases and stuff. Like how we did for developers, we would also like to give a simple tool or plugin for our uh, quality engineers, uh, which by click of a button can generate the uh, test scenarios, and they can add more complex ones if needed. Uh, thereby improving the quality much further, and also making sure that the production code uh, doesn't fail, mainly in production. So we hope with this we can uh, enhance the reliability of the applications as well, because uh, now the test scenarios cover a wide range of real-time scenarios, and also we make sure that uh, there are more complex scenarios that get covered. I'm sorry if you're hearing a white noise. I'm just trying to make sure it's... Uh... I'm audible. Is it good or...? OK, awesome. Thank you. So uh, here is, again, the high-level architecture. So you will see a pattern uh, in the four opportunities where I just want to make sure I show that it's, it's, it's simple. So on your left side, you see quality engineers interacting with, again, a custom-built button uh, within the Jira. So which, when triggered, takes in the requirement and any other metadata from the Jira ticket, and then passes on to the backend service, which is again powered by Amazon Bedrock and Titan. Uh, and whatever the test scenarios that's been uh, generated is displayed to the quality engineers for reviewing and also making any changes and adding any more. We look through a quick demo. Uh, here again, uh, it's a Jira where uh, we have our custom a button setup. So quality engineer is hitting the custom button now. And behind the scenes, Titan model, uh, bedrock with Titan model is invoked, which takes in the description and any other metadata from the requirement. And in a matter of few seconds, we'll see the scenarios that gets displayed in the model. Now the quality engineers can review it, add more additional scenarios if needed, uh, and also change uh, if they want to. At least they have a basic starting point that they can start with. And uh, they can keep adding more uh, complex scenarios. And also, they can spend more time on regression and automation test suites. The, the third uh, opportunity that I would like to talk about is called a next generative uh, player chat. So today, uh, when our players get into any issues while playing the games, uh, they have a question, a general question. They would either go to. Uh, ES help website, and or, or uh, they would uh, uh, chat with the customer service agent in order to get their questions answered. As we all feel, we would rather have our players have fun playing games than deal with this kind of stuff. So what we would like to do with Generative AI is provide them an easy uh, way where uh, within the game so that they could just get their questions answered or um, uh, errors fixed. Uh, without even leaving the game. So with the help of Generative AI, that's mainly uh, Amazon Titan, uh, we have created this uh, help application uh, within the games uh, through which uh, the players can have a seamless chat experience uh, in a conversational manner uh, and get the answers needed, thereby reducing the response times and also drastically improving their experience within the games. Again, high-level architecture follows the same pattern where now you see on your left side players interacting with the help chat, uh, the help application mainly. And that's again powered by the um, Amazon Bedrock and Titan behind the scenes. Uh, here we also have the, uh, the open search with the knowledge-based uh, knowledge, base, knowledge articles mainly that it can refer to in order to uh, provide a proper solution to our, uh, to our players and also answer any of their questions. This is a sample prototype app uh, that I have, uh, where in a matter of uh, 
in a moment you will see uh, the player asking a question, uh, something to do with their uh, uh, with an F NFS game. And in a matter of few seconds, you will see the LLM responding uh, back with the step by step step by step details of what they should do in order to get their uh, question answered mainly. The, the, the last and the most important uh, opportunity that I would like to talk about is social insights. So during the, during the game seasons, uh, our game team and the business teams are very busy uh, in the marketing activities, making sure uh, we get proper feedback from our players, uh, making sure we address all of them and uh, get the social insights from the marketing campaigns. As you can imagine, during this uh, busy, hectic game seasons, this is a huge task for our game teams, where they spend a lot of time analyzing the, the player feedback, uh, and also get the sentiments from all these uh, different social media campaigns. Like how we have provided for our uh, internal teams and players, we'd also like to provide some kind of an easy way for our, uh, for our uh, uh, business teams to get the social media insights mainly. And uh, what we have provided them is, a, is an app through which uh, they can uh, uh, go for any of the social media campaign, get the uh, social media post and get a sentiment or summary of all the different uh, feedback that they have within that content. Again, on the high level architecture, it follows the same pattern where here uh, we have game studio, studio team interacting with uh, the admin portal, that's the uh, app that we have built them, uh, through, which is again powered by the service uh, behind the scenes by Amazon Bedrock and Titan. And uh, they would get the uh, insights from uh, hitting this URL. Let's look at it in an action. So what I have here is a F123 game trailer and um, in a second, you will see tons of uh, comments again as this one social media post. So now, uh, this is a prototype uh, app that I would like to show where uh, the URL is given and uh, I'm asking it to analyze like top, top voted 100 comments. And in a matter of few seconds, you should see uh, the, the insights from this particular social media post. So the video is not removed, so that's why you'll, you'll see a little bit of uh, a delay because uh, I have not removed any time between the execution. So you can see clearly uh, it has, it gives the positive feedback like whatever the uh, comments has been addressing. And also it gives the improvements as well. It's not just the positive feedback, but also any improvements that the place or, uh, or the YouTubers has been talking within the comment section. As a final thought, um, I'd like to say using generative AI uh, with Bedrock and Titan helps us in multiple areas within our, our organization. Uh, one, we have seen how it helps developers uh, write unit tests, automated, automate the unit testing process and also write more complex tests. Uh, our quality engineers write uh, test scenarios, help them with writing test scenarios and also expand the horizon by including complex test, uh, test cases. Uh, third, our players especially uh, helping them when they have an issue uh, directly within the game application. And fourth, for our business teams, game studio teams, uh, getting the social insights uh, from these uh, different social media campaigns. We hope with uh, Bedrock and Titan, we can drive the innovation within the industry and uh, uh, take it forward.